Hello there, it's me, Lamey Gamer. Hope you're all doing well. So today's video is our third video on this sort of topic, which is doing shout outs on stream. Now, the last video I did was a video tutorial on upgrading your awesome shout out widget to now use clips from featured streamers or shouted out streamers on your stream using a product called Clippy. But yes, like I said, this video is about the evolution of Clippy. So now Clippy has no longer got the professional subscription. And yes, you would have guessed right, that means that Clippy Pro is essentially free now. Not only that, Clippy have now changed the whole look of their system and they are now going by the name of Sidekick. So let me take you through the new Clippy, also known as Sidekick. Here we go. So first of all, we're back on that lovely, lovely video of me with my eyes closed, looking like I'm about to sneeze. Um, so what we're going to do is first of all, click the link here that says efuse.gg forward slash Clippy that would have taken us to Clippy's homepage. But now as you click it, it takes you into Sidekick, which is our brand new widget that we can now use to use for shout outs. So hopefully my old logins and stuff will still work. So we're about to find out. So I'm going to press login. It's already got all my um, details there. So I'm now going to press login. Logged in successfully. We are now no longer going to call this Clippy. It is now Sidekick. So as you can see up there in the top corner, Sidekick. Efuse.gg forward slash Sidekick is where you will find this. Now we're logged in. Um, behind my head here are their socials. So you've got TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Go hang out and... Uh, follow all those because they're giving all of these features to us guys for free so as you can see here there's a couple of panels already that some of you may recognize from clippy but don't worry we're going to go through them anyway so we've got the shout out widget we've got the be right back player um it looks like there's a discord invite to the clippy or efuse um discord um, and some support panels as well but what i have noticed is if you go over here we've got something over here called overlays which i'm really interested to have a look at which looks like a new feature i think i want to say but what we're going to do first of all is go into shout out so i'm going to click here and here um you can configure all the information about your shout out so for instance the type of command um it will use so for instance in this case we've set it up as exclamation mark so you can do whatever you wanted to say exclamation mark shout out whatever you want to do and then you can also um, set permissions as well, which is really cool. In addition to that, you can also do commands to stop the um, videos playing and stuff like that. But what I quite like is that you can select the date range from when these clips are taken. So if you don't want a clip that's like 10 years old or whatever, for when you call someone up, you can say date range in the last 24 hours, seven days, month, year. So it's always nice to have something that's quite, um, quite recent. So I try and do last month for me. Um, and then clip order random because it doesn't have to be the newest, but you can do the earliest or whatever uh, You can select the minimum views and you, basically you can do all this sort of stuff um, And that's that you can choose the clip volume, but I always prefer to use um, The volume controller in my streaming software Which what it says here the best way to adjust your volume is through your streaming software. So yeah, that's what we would do So now we're gonna press customize which is this button over here and this is what your default sort of shout out would look like. So it says, please go check out username. So I'm guessing that would populate with whoever you put after the shout out. You can change the font. I don't know how great the fonts are on this. They don't really change too much, but as long as it's legible, I'm quite happy with that. Um, you can change it and capitalize. So um, team lamer shout out to this person that's pretty cool you can change the background color of the header as well which is something I don't think you could do when you had it as a non-professional sort of feature so this is quite cool to be able to do this for free and then let's go to the bottom as well so if we're looking at the footer here it we can put the psychic logo which was something you couldn't remove if you hadn't got the pro um, version before so you can do that and the watermark's gone um, you can pick whether the game is being shown there if they have been streaming and then you can also choose their stream title for me I'll delete the stream title I'll show the game and I will choose the same um, font as well 
yellow and red how well yellow and red like my top there we go so we're going to press save now and it now says overlay settings saved so we're going to go back to the shout out widget where it says settings and what we're going to do now is add this in as a browser source. So what we're going to do is we're going to press copy. So what we'll do now then is we will now add it into our OBS. So here we go. Okay, so we're in OBS now. So, so you can see my screen. I know there's an infinite number of screens. I'm sorry about that. For those of you that haven't used browser sources before, I have done a video on how to create browser sources. So I'm just going to quickly crash through this one. So we're going to press plus. We're going to go browser. I'm going to add this in called Sidekick, which is S I D K I T K. I call it Shout Out. Okay. I'm then going to stick the browser source in there. I'm going to put Control Audio via OBS. So we're sticking that there. Then I'm going to press OK. So it's now hit, appeared here. Sidekick Shout Out. I want to be able to hear it as well. So I'm going to right click and press Advanced Audio Properties. Sidekick Shout Out Monitor and output close okay so in that box this little red box here we should see our shout out so what i'm going to do now is bring my twitch shout out widget into my obs so what i'm going to do now is put my headphones on just so i can hear the shout out and we can adjust the volume together so name gamer Let's jump into a scene. It's not that bad to be fair, but I'm going to turn it right down. Okay, let's the music. That there sounds okay. What is this clip? I love that there's no sound. <laughs> so what we would do then is we could move this sort of browser source all around our scenes wherever we'd like it. So that's pretty cool. Let's jump back into Sidekick and see what else we can do with it. So here we go. Um, so we've got the BRB player. That's a pretty good standard setting, to be fair. And let's see if we can customize it. Um, okay, so we'll change this. That it looks very similar to the shout out. So we'll put uh, Lamer Gamer in action. Lamer Gamer in action. Bosh. There we go. And we're going to press save. And I'm guessing this will just play continuously then. So let's have a look then. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to copy this again. And remember, shut down source when not visible is something we need to put in. So we're going to go copy. So we've now copied the URL for our browser source. And then we're going to head back. So once again, we're going to press plus browser. We're going to call it sidekick. I'm um, going to control audio via OBS. What was the other one? Shut down source when not visible. Okay. So that is just going to play continuously now. I don't know how loud that was. I'm sorry if it was like deafeningly loud. So we've got to change the advanced audio properties on that. Okay, so that's what that does. And it seems to just play through all shit. my... Shit, 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 shit. Takan, what have you done? <laughs> this is like one of my earliest clips. <gasps> Oh, I got hiccups. <laughs> but yeah, so it looks like it just plays back through all my um, <coughs> highest viewed Damn. clips. So yeah, and the only way to stop it, I guess, is to all right. to hide it. So oh. there it goes. That was pretty cool. I can see some uses for this in the future. Okay, and then there's one more that we want to have a look at, which is the overlays. Okay, so now we're having a look at the overlays feature on Sidekick. So we're going to create new. So I'm guessing this is like our typical canvas of a page 1920 by 1080p yeah that sounds about right so we click over here and add widget a shout out okay so we can have a shout out widget over here and I can do a B right back as well which can live over here oh these are recent clips okay ah, and we can change it all again so we can go here and we can make that like red we're gonna mess around with this just quickly yeah okay so we've made an overlay page of some sort so I'm guessing now we have to press save we've now saved overlay and widgets have been updated so I click this URL can I copy the URL no I cannot why can't I copy you What's this? refresh this will change your canvas URL no cancel I will just call it test canvas Okay. 
It wasn't very responsive when you clicked it. It doesn't look like you've selected text there. That could be something that could be improved a little bit. And then I, it doesn't look like I can highlight the URL here unless I do that. Unless if I close this now and sidekick widgets, go back to sidekick, go to overlays. Yeah, you can't really copy the URL from that unless you did what I did just now, which was manually highlight it at the bottom. So there's no like highlight button if I'm correct. Yeah, there's no, so if I click that, nothing. I have to double click to get all that copy. So now we're gonna jump back into OBS again. And we're gonna do add um, browser sidekick overlay. That's that one. Um, we're gonna do control audio via OBS again. And we're gonna do shut down source when not visible, just because it's got that um, clip looper. So, there we go. Okay, so we can see that the um, the overlay Fucking bit is working here. Mate, so if I do <laughs> if I do exclamation mark shout out, lamer gamer, will it show? Oh. Will it work? So yeah, look, there it is. There's the shout out. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that seemed to work quite well. Okay, so I've been using Sidekick now for a couple of weeks. And I've got to say I've really enjoyed using it. I love the fact that you can customize it and it can be personalized to and tailored to your stream. So that's really cool, including fonts and colors. And to me, it just feels like you're giving a little bit more back to your community rather than just shout out, thank you. It's actually a shout out. And if they do have clips on the stream, then, uh, then you can obviously support them and show people in your community the sort of streamer that they are. Also, as you've seen in this video, you can't really filter whether or not they're swearing or not in the clip. So just be careful if you are using this, you have to be very aware that you could have someone dropping the odd F-bomb on a stream. So that's one to just keep an eye out for. That being said though, if you are trying to shout out members of your community and they don't stream, at the moment, Sidekick cannot do a clip shout out for non-streamers because surprise surprise there are no clips for them to be shown i've already been chatting with dom who runs sidekick and is part of the the team that develops this um and he is already looking into finding ways of incorporating non-streamers or people without clips um to be sort of shown or, or acknowledged on this platform so that's really good that they're open to feedback there's a few other things we went through in the video like um there's no hyperlink like copy and paste button for the overlay and some other bits and bobs that I've already made him aware of and they're already working hard to try and put those sort of issues to bed and they are very small issues but all in all for, for a free product you can't really go far wrong with something like this and I think it's going to be a really powerful tool going forward as they're already looking at implementing more and more things for us to use as streamers on their platform so uh, watch this space and I'm sure there's going to be some more tutorial videos coming your way. Now don't forget if you did like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you know every time that I go live or post a new video. I also stream regularly on Twitch where you can catch me using the shout out command so feel free to jump in and ask me to you know to shout you out and uh, and we can see how that clip works. In the meantime you all take care and I'll see you online. Cheers.